Hi, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining us or inviting us uh, along as we do this. Uh, we celebrate our frontline workers. So tell me a little bit about the We See You campaign. So the We See You campaign is kind of a natural progression from the WGU Here's You campaign that the College of Health Professions started in March. Uh, it gave our students an opportunity to reach out um, directly um, to us to let us know their struggles and us find ways to help them work through those during a pandemic. Um, so now we are taking the opportunity to actually get out and see our students, not just hear them. And we're super, super, super excited to start this here at Baptist Health Floyd. That's great. It, uh, it's an exciting thing to be doing and it's, it's important work to recognize and support our students who are working so hard right now. So how, do, uh, how did you select the first two students? So I actually um, got the honor of selecting the first two students because I was um, involved with this, um, developing this campaign. And this is my hometown. Um, this is a facility that I have previously worked at. Mm -hmm. And I have also um, been a patient at, as well as my family. Um, they do amazing work. And I thought that they were definitely deserving um, to start the campaign off here, especially with um, WGU Indiana being a, the state the first state school. Yes. Um, so I think no, no better place to start than here in Indiana. My name is Tanya Hebner. Um, I'm an employee here at Baptist Health Floyd. I've been here almost 15 years. When I was 45, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get my bachelor's, so I got my bachelor's. And then um, decided to go right back into my master's at WGU. I started my program February 1st. Um, so I have, after this course, I have five classes left. My goal is hopefully to graduate by like the end of December. So, so working full time. Working full time. You're a mom. Mom. Yep. You're working on your master's mm -hmm. in the middle of your in a pandemic. Your line worker in a <laughs> pandemic. Yes. Meanwhile, you're going to complete a master's from yes. February to December. Yes. Less than 12 months. Yes. The uh, you, this is why. Yes. This is why we celebrate you. Thank you. You are amazing. We appreciate you. Thank you. We're here to tell you we appreciate the work that you're doing. Thank you and we see you. Thank you. WGU has been amazing support. My mentor Christine has kept in contact with me weekly, um, always making sure I have everything I need to be successful. Being in school and working harder during this pandemic is, it's, it's been my drive. I was like, this is what I need to do. I gotta, I gotta get out there and make a difference. Andrea, it's great to meet you today. Thanks for taking some time and letting us celebrate you. Thank you. Um, WGU appreciates you, and we'd love to hear a little bit more about you. I've been with Baptist Health Floyd now for three years on Med Surge, and it's been great. I've learned a gazillion things, learned so much, and I've had great teamwork, great staff members, great, great management, employees, friends to, that we'll have for a lifetime. Great. So how are things going? I hear that things are real busy here with COVID. It is. It's very busy. Um, COVID is picking up here again in, in our hospital. We're getting quite a few more in, um, as well as the people that, you know, our sick people that need to come as well. The first round we, of COVID we did, we, those people kind of stayed home, but now they're, they're coming in. So our hospital is full um, and it's been super, super busy. So it's pretty much a revolving door when one leaves, another one comes and we're just trying to take the best care that we can of those people. With all of that going on, you just happen to be in school too, full yes. time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, full time, didn't, didn't know a pandemic was coming when I started, but honestly, WGU has been great. I've recommended it to a lot of our, my coworkers here, and a lot of them have started the program. It's very, you all have been wonderful, um, easy to work with, classes have been great, and very work at your own pace. So it's a good school, and, and I really appreciate the stuff you all offer and the online and at your own pace and wherever you are in the world that you can you can do that so that's great i think the uh, affordability and the flexibility are both uh, key they, are. Uh, they create opportunities uh, or open up opportunities uh, for a lot of people who otherwise would not be able to pursue something uh, especially the flexibility that's right. uh, because uh, you know there are various options available, but not every option provides the flexibility that WGU offers. And uh, as we saw here today uh, with these two nurses, it has uh, uh, allowed them the opportunity to pursue uh, a graduate degree uh, that they probably would not be pursuing right now uh, were it not for WGU. Well, I enjoyed the opportunity to meet both uh, Tanya and Andrea. They're both uh, very impressive and uh, certainly 
uh, appreciate what they're doing here at uh, here at Baptist and in this community, and I'm also excited about what they're doing with WGU. Uh, they are um, uh, serving the community now, but they're also, as a result of WGU uh, and its programming, able to meet their own personal goals while also uh, helping develop our workforce. Tanya and Andrea were amazing. I know they're one of many students and alum at Baptist Floyd. So um, what was it about Tanya and Andrea that made them stand out for you? Um, both Tanya and Andrea were nominated by their managers. Um, and we looked, they have done phenomenal things. Um, Tanya just began in February. She'll graduate with a master's degree. Right now it's looking like December. Um, so even through this pandemic, um, and working the front lines through this pandemic, she's been able to thrive in school. Um, and so again, perfect, perfect person that we chose and perfect facility to pick for her first. You know, I know that you work with a team of mentors that are supporting our frontline workers as they get their health professions degrees. What are some of the things you're hearing about what students are facing and how they're making it through? I think they're facing a lot of different um, things right now. Um, Number one, you know, you always hear nurses signed up for this. Nurses didn't sign up um, to be part of a, a pandemic. It's something that nurses train for, um, but this is just as scary for them as it is for the general public. Um, so there's some fear there. There's some fear for themselves. There's definitely fear for their families. Um, they also, a lot of them have children at home mm -hmm. um, that can't currently attend school or were pulled out of school back in March. So they've had to be full-time educators, full-time frontline workers. Um, some have had, you know, their significant other has been out of work. Um, and so they've had to pick up additional hours working the front line. So it's just been a struggle from a lot of different aspects for our students. Yeah, I know, I know that it has, I can, well, I can only imagine the amount of stress. It's like amplified for someone working on the front lines. So what about our mentors? How are they? I know that they are bearing a lot of the weight of this too. How are our mentors in health professions doing? Um, our mentors are doing really well because of um, some things that WGU um, has put in place for them that have, has allowed them the time um, to take to, to deal with things, to talk with professionals about things going on um, because they do carry the weight of what the, stu the students are going through. Um, so it can be overwhelming at times, um, but WGU has definitely had their back and, and ensured that their mental health um, has come first. Oh, that's good to hear. I'm not surprised, but I love having the confirmation of that. Well, Jamie, again, thank you for taking some time. Thank you for inviting us to be a part of this. It really was an honor to meet our students and some of the staff here at Baptist Floyd, and it's always good to see you. Well, thank you for coming down south. We always love when WGU shows up. <laughs> That's right. Anytime. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring the Owlmobile and come down here anytime you need me.